Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run all your updates for Windows 10. Your driver updates, system updates, security updates, get all those processed manually all at once so it's not running in the background slowing down your computer for days or weeks. This can also be a good first step in troubleshooting a variety of problems. If you're still having problems after you run your updates and you need some help troubleshooting whatever it is, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll help you out. Okay, so let's get to it. Get to your desktop. I'll show you how to run the updates. Also, make sure your computer is plugged in and charging. Uh, if your computer loses power during some updates, it could not only damage that update, but it may also damage your operating system. So make sure you're plugged in. So this is actually a pretty easy process, guys. We're going to go down here to your search bar and type in the word updates. You're going to see this pop up. Check for updates under system settings. That's what we want. We're going to click on that. So as you can see here, I have quite a list of updates. Uh, I just installed Windows 10 onto this computer a few minutes ago. So there's going to be a lot of updates. You may not have this many. You may have more. Um, it all depends. But you definitely want to run all these updates. Um, oftentimes, as you can see, these have started processing 19%, 100%. Th these are running right now. Sometimes you'll have to actually hit a button that says install. Uh, sometimes you have to scroll down to the bottom of the list. There'll be a button there that says install or here you see optional quality updates. So these are optional. These are not auto installing. So I, I would click on this download and install. So a couple things here guys. One, you may need to restart your computer several times before all your updates are processed. Some updates won't complete until the computer has been restarted and other updates may be waiting for that one to finish before they start to download. So again, you may need to restart the computer several times. It won't do it automatically. It'll prompt you. Uh, to the right of the update, it'll say uh, restart required uh, or the one that's waiting will say pending restart. So you'll see those and then you can restart your computer. Second thing, if you think that an update is erroring out, if it's giving you an error message saying update failed, or if it keeps trying to update but not going through, you can try running your update troubleshooter. Access your Windows troubleshooter. It's very easy. You come back down to the search bar bottom left. Oh, yeah, you can see right there, restart required. It'll do that sometimes. Kind of cool that popped up. You're going to come down here to the search bar bottom left, type in troubleshoot. There you go, troubleshoot settings, system settings, that's what we want. We'll click on that. And this is your troubleshoot window here. We're going to go scroll down to additional troubleshooters. Click on that. And then here you go, Windows Update. Resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows. You click on that and you'll run that. That's your Windows Update Troubleshooter. If you think something's wrong and your updates are not processing the way that they should. Okay, so that's the video. Showed you how to run the updates and also the Update Troubleshooter if you think something's going wrong. And again, as I mentioned before, this is a great step to troubleshoot a wide variety of problems. Run your updates first. If the problem still exists after the updates, you can keep troubleshooting. So if you need help with any of that, leave me a message. Let me know what's going on. If you are having a problem, also try to leave me anything that happened just prior to the problem starting. Um, if your computer's overheating, if you spilled liquid on it, if you had a, a failed Windows update, let me know what's going on and it'll save time me helping you out. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. Please like and share if it was. Subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer tutorials like this. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.